Hey folks, Malforan here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're carrying on our campaign in Crusader Kings 3 in Toledo, and we're just going to get unpaused, because, uh, yeah, if you weren't here for the last episode, we took over the Duchy of Navarra. The kingdom still exists. Actually, we, do you know what? We could attack the kingdom and just take this, the crownless. I do like he's called that. It's pretty funny, because he has a kingdom of Navarra, but he doesn't actually own any of Navarra. No, he doesn't, so kind of funny that he's... Uh, I wonder if that's why he has this title. Be interesting to see but well, we could pay back our sister no our vassal yeah, we will do that it does take up all our money but um we will do that to uh to clear that out so we'll build up some money we'll build up some troops uh, I mean, they've only got 300 troops who are they allied with well these guys have, they've only got 400 troops so yeah we'll let this go up to like 800 and then i think we'll just attack navarra if we can yeah we can 350 prestige it's quite a lot but uh we might as well take this and uh yeah take this uh northern bit of land and then uh yeah as i said last episode we're we're friends with this guy so i think that means we can't attack him yeah because we're best friends we can't actually um well, what does this do synergize friendship gain 10 opinion and gain energy enhanced diplomacy oh plus three diplomacy from this oh this actually does this change oh yeah enhanced learning Plus three, or drawn a mix of both. I guess it was plus one of each, plus two of each. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. This is cool. I've not actually done this before. So uh, yeah, synergy, synergy, synergistic diplomacy. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. So yeah, we can't attack him because we have a hook, which is fine. We just attack either of these guys. Although they actually have a lot of troops. Yeah, we're kind of waiting for someone to kind of die off now. I mean, we could attack him again, like, say, once our truce ends, but it's still going to be risky. Can we move into France? No. So, yeah, we're going to have to be careful here. Oh, I suppose we could attack these guys. They've got 2,000 almost as well. So, yeah, we're going to have to kind of figure out what we're going to do next. Um, but, yeah, for now. And then we're just going to attack this guy. Let's take him. A bit expensive to do it, but um, I can't be bothered, like, doing it the good old-fashioned way. At least this way doesn't cost us any money. Get this, we'll raise our army, and then this should be a, uh, a quick war for us, to be honest. Unless, actually, we should have checked, has he got any money? No, he hasn't. He's got minus prestige. Minus a thousand prestige. That must be from all the all the wars he lost as uh, as the ruler previously. So yeah, no, he's brought in his allies here, but um, they shouldn't be able to do anything against us. We should be able to just siege this down and win this. Six months left, the uh, Siege of Irim. And we won't call in any of our allies. To be honest, yeah, as soon as we siege this down, this war will finish. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about that at all. And then, uh, yeah, like I say, we'll actually, well, let's pin some more of these rulers. Because once one of them dies, once any of these die, we can probably attack whichever realm it is. Education at an end. My ward, Countess Aramber, has come of age and it is time she has left my care. Which is funny, because whilst we've been educating her stolen her entire realm so um <laughs> she's not too fond of us but more fond than you would think with the fact we took her realm off her until we meet again she's not very good <laughs> so not too worried about it to be honest yeah we're gonna we're gonna finish this war off pretty uh pretty quickly and then like i say we'll just wait for one of these guys to die probably and then we'll take their realm off them uh, well, not the, their entire realm, but we'll take some land off them. Hopefully this guy down here first. Oh, there we go. We captured her, his son immediately, so this war is finished anyway. So there we go. And we'll keep this land for ourselves. We might as well, because we're only at four out of four now. I think one of these is a temple holding, though, so we will give that away to somebody. Um, a Catalan culture. Um, yeah, no, let's do that. And there we go. Nice. So, yeah, we'll keep Iran for ourselves. At least for now. And then we'll we'll worry about it later on, maybe giving it away. Heresy, I'll turn it into the priests. Yeah, Joel, let's just get some piety. As we said at the beginning of the first episode, I think I want to try do some uh, piety-focused events. I do find it quite difficult, though. Like, sometimes playing, playing through, really focusing on piety. If you have any ideas of how we could probably do it a little bit better, let me know in the comments. But um, I do find it hard... Do find it hard sometimes to to focus on piety as much as I maybe want to. I mean, I suppose you can't really use it on that much, but um, in this campaign, I kind of wanted to do it, but yeah, it's kind of difficult to, if I'm being honest. I'm probably missing something really obvious, but 
Um, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to do. I mean, we are obviously a, dip, a, dip, a dip, <laughs> diplomatic. There we go. Um, uh, focus character. So we're not learning focus. That obviously changed. If we were learning focus, we'd obviously have way more ability to build this up. But um, oh, somebody else. Wait, no, it's the same guy. Okay, he wants he wants to synergize his learning with us. So you know, we've done it both ways now. So interesting. So this is our uh, daughter and player heir. She is stewardship focus. She is betrothed to a uh, a Catholic Anglo-Saxon from the House of Wessex. Wait, wasn't he the guy who is like second in line for the throne and for some reason like let us marry them? Oh, wait, no, that was in Lombardy, I think. Oh, Joe, we'll have a check after this anyway. Um, so yeah, she is trying to get taught by someone. So let's have a look. Have we got anyone with high... Uh, stewardship? No. Do we have someone with really high learning? We do, our aunt. So oh, we'll use her instead. There we go. Um, yeah, let's have a look. Wessex. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I think it was Lombardy then. Yeah, our sister is married to Count Ugo. She just came of age. So once she has a child with Count, uh, Count Ugo here, their children will inherit it, all his land so all these counties here three three counties whoever you know whoever well, not whoever <laughs> her first child will uh, will inherit these counties and they'll move to our dynasty which is uh, it's pretty cool well our house in fact and um yeah we won't get them ourselves obviously because we're not playing as her uh, actually if we die no we've had some daughters so we won't play as her but uh, yeah if we'd played as her we would inherit these and take control of them which would be a bit weird we'd have land in uh Iberia and in Italy, but um, I think it would have been quite interesting. So yeah, it'd be cool to keep an eye on that anyway, just if our house does just gain land elsewhere. It has other benefits to get us more uh, renown and stuff like that, so it's obviously going to help us get some more unlocks and obviously just become more well-known, which means we get better marriages and um, opinion modifiers, I believe, off the top of my head. Uh, no, marrying gives you more prestige, Rulers get long reign opinion plus 15 and children are born uh, prestige. At the moment we're obscure we basically have no <laughs> no prestige to give people if they marry into our realm. We're going to get plus 10 long realm opinion and children are only born with 100 prestige. So yeah, if we can get this moving it'd be a, a lot better. The sixth hour, my goodness being a ruler really does take it out of you. I've been, I have had to toil all day and much of the night and much of the night too in order to remain no, maintain my lands. I do apologize, guys. I cannot read today for the life of me. Uh, the peasants lead blessed lives in, the, in that respect. They don't have the pressures of rulership to weigh them down and cause them so much lethargy. Perhaps a little nap will do me good. I can sleep off the exertions of lunch be ready to tackle the rest of the day. So with diligence, we, we don't want to do that. We want to just, no, keep working. No rest for the wind. Oh, someone gained Thieves Guild? It's clear someone has deliberately funded these criminals to act against us. Oh, interesting. So somebody has done... Uh, where's the option? Oh, I don't see it. Maybe I don't have the required um, uh, lifestyle or something. I don't think it was lifestyle focus, but maybe it is. Yeah, one of these is um, Foment Revolt. Oh, no, it's because they don't, have, they don't meet the requirements. You have to have a certain amount of... Um, unhappy uh, counties I think for it to be an option yeah I guess no one else around us does no so we can't I can't show you it I think we saw it earlier in the campaign anyway so yeah someone's uh, fermented revolt in Toledo whilst we've been busy which is interesting so they made a thieves guild up here minus 10% uh, holding taxes minus 80% development growth for 10 years? Bro, what? <laughs> 10 years? I mean, we... Oh, well, this has only got two years left, so I guess we'll let this finish anyway. And then we'll go to uh, promote culture, I think. Because... How long, oh, no, it's Catalan. 10 years, 10 years, 10 years. 11 years. Yeah, so we'll probably switch to Madrid, because otherwise it's going to take a long time anyway next time. Um... But yeah, for now, we're, we're kind of just waiting it out now, I suppose. Joe, let's invest some of this money, though. In Toledo. Let's get our last... Oh, we get military camps, more levies, archers and skirmishers. 
Sure, I think we might just build that anyway. These we could build. I suppose it's another half gold a month for some farms and fields. Sure, we'll wait till we have 150 then. But then we'll then we'll do that. Oh, we still have too few knights. How many have we got? Four out of eight. Oh, we can recruit this guy. How much is it going to cost? 45 gold. Seems like a lot of gold to uh, to do that. Do you know, we'll just leave it for now. Yeah, once we have 150, we'll build that, um, that upgrade here in Toledo. And then, um, yeah, that means in the future we'll just be making more money, which is always good. We're making five gold a month, which isn't too bad, to be honest. Let's, um... Let's do that. Farms and fields. There we go. So we'll build up some more money. We've got one and a half thousand troops. So do you know what? We probably could take on one of these guys. Do we still have the truce? Yeah, we do for 10 months. Interesting. So we could come after this guy and try it again. Oh, he's already got 56 gold. So he spent some of his money on something, probably on buildings. Although the conciliation phase... Is coming to an end pretty soon. We're up to almost 900. So, yeah, we're going to drift towards, uh, even further towards going into um, compromise. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll hit that soon enough. So, I wonder if to try and get this war in first. Oh, we could just do it with like a little bit more troops. Definitely need more knights. Because he had quite a few knights. Interesting. Sure, let's have a look. Uh, courtiers, I think we still don't have any unmarried. Oh, we've got some prisoners. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Good job we looked. Countess, oh, we still have the, the Countess under under guard. Who's her husband? Count Garcia, the crownless. Oh, the guy up here that we saw. We, he used to be the king of, uh, king of Navarre. He's now just a lowly count. He lost the title after he moved over here. Um, yeah, can we ransom you for money? Oh, no. Interesting. Demand conversion. Do you want to send her back, but demand she converts? I'm guessing this is her daughter. Yes, it is. Again, we'll send her back, but we'll convert her before we do so. And then Marwa. 23 learning. Wow, she's pretty good. Can we, can we recruit her? We demand a conversion as well. Okay, we'll take her. And then this guy. He's not very good. But I again, I think we'll just recruit this guy just because we just don't have um, that big a court. So getting some of these people on our side is just going to help us, I think, with... Um, actually, did, did he become a knight? I think he will have done, even though he wasn't that good. Yeah, he did. I mean, having a knight of one is better than having no knight, I think. I might be wrong with that. But I believe, you know, it's got to be better than having no knight. Your player and daughter, your aunt, Violet. Yeah, she's married to Hakur. Yeah, we've only got 12 courtiers. So that's why I was saying, like, just getting any additional people is going to help us. Right, we've got somebody else here. Let's uh, reset to default. Let's go... Prowess. Yeah, marry this... Oh, wait, no, another Herculean person. She's too old to have children. But, um... Yeah, let's get this Galician dude. Matrilineal, we're going to make you marry her. There you go. Now, here he should come in and become a, a knight for us. I would think. Yeah, there we go. Six out of eight. He's our best knight. 20 prowess. So, there we go. That worked out quite well for us. What are we up to now? 901. So, yeah, we are entering, like, the final phase of this. I think our truce has come to an end now, has it? Yes, it has. So, it's a large realm, though. I, I don't know. I don't feel confident, but they're probably the best people to attack. Yeah, they are, actually, funnily enough. Biggest realm, well, apart from Leon. Um, well, the largest duchy realm. And uh, actually the lowest amount of people. So, he will have some money for some... Um, oh, yeah, we don't. We no longer have our claim either, do we? Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I should have remembered we need to get our claim again. Okay, Joe, we'll get our claim first, and then we'll do it. We might get a claim on the rest of Toledo. So, yeah, we'll 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 do that first, and then it's going to cost us less than the 350 prestige otherwise. Soul of Iron, a man named Tebolt, has arrived in my court claiming to be a master smith who has travelled far and wide. Oh, we've had this one before. Yeah, he's the... Uh, oh, he also made uh, Falcatas for the armies of Carthage. Well, that's uh, convenient. The last guy did that as well. 
So we can spend 75 gold and get armed like the Romans. Joe, I'm kind of tempted to do this this time. Last time we couldn't do this because we greedy, so we didn't want to spend the money, or we just didn't have the money. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to spend the money. We'll be out of debt in two months, but we're going to get that really nice bonus to um, our knights. Pushing this up to 25. And then also um, the other benefit it had, which I've already forgotten. <laughs> uh, whatever it was. It was good, so it's fine. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, we'll get the claim first, and then we'll um, we'll uh, get on to this war down here. To nurture relationships between the next generation of rulers is a duty we should not neglect, says the Duke. Some of your, your some of your more influential vassals have children that I'm certain Patricia benefit from knowing. Um, sure. Daughter of Countess Flor. Well, she's given us some trouble before. Or son of Countess Alamanda. Uh, let's go for Trisham, I guess. What's her stats? Oh, she has four of them. Callous, temperate, diligent, and curious. Wrathful and bossy. No, yeah, the first one. <laughs> the first one. Not him. He is uh, not going to be a good influence on us. Oh, our control's going to be maxed out here, which is good. That's going to bring us in some more money. Let's push it up to 4.9 again. So, um... Oh, wait, no, no, it reset. Wait, that was at 100, and now it's gone down to 75. Do we have an event? Counter Toledo lost unco uncooperative guilds. But what else happened? Something else happened there. Increase control. Interesting, because that was at 99.9, .9, and then it reset down to 75, so. Anyway, that that's what it really matters. Anyway, let's get August. Again, that's going to help us a little bit more as well. It gives us two diplomacy, one martial, and one prestige a month. That one prestige a month is kind of more useful. Than it will be for some other characters, just because we need to try and get our prestige a little bit higher. This is at 917. Yeah, we need this claim to finish. Do you want, let's speed up time whilst we're just waiting for this. Old foes. Oh, Duchess Agnes of Toledo. That's us. Dressed quite well. To be honest, I didn't think we looked like this. I'm back on the battlefield. The mud is clinging to my boots. The rank stench of the dead assaulting my nostrils. Once again, I'm reliving the day I lost a war against Emir. Alil of Quatraba. Which is funny, because we're going to attack them again real soon. I wake up gasping, cold beads of sweat coming into my face. Hiker st stirs beside me, but does not wake. I must deal with my troubles alone. Kind of funny this event's happened right now, just before uh, we were going to attack them again. I should try to forget, or I will never lose again. We get obsessed with vengeance. So we gain plus two martial and lose two diplomacy. I think that's worth worthy trade-off. We've got so much diplomacy... Well, let's do it. We are obsessed with vengeance. I love it. I love it. Let's do this. Get this claim pretty soon. Is this going to hit the next phase, though? No, it's not. We should be able to do this before it hits the next phase. And then hopefully we get a claim on the rest. I'm not sure, as we own, as we already the Duke of Toledo, or the Duchess of Toledo, I, I guess we won't get a duchy claim for both of these, but um, I'm not sure, to be honest, off the top of my head, that can happen. It didn't this time, so... Get a claim on here next. And, uh, yeah, let's do this war. Let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. 1,700. Some allies we can call in. He's got some money, so he will be able to bring in... Oh, no, we're at minus money, so we can't. Yeah, obviously that cost us some money. So yeah, we need to get out of debt, and then we'll uh, we'll do it. We'll just call in all our allies, no matter what it costs us in prestige. And then uh, hopefully we can turn it around this time. We do have more knights this time. We have six out of eight, so a little bit better. Oh, we discovered a mustering grounds. Are we the leader of this yet? No. Girona, this guy still is. We own one Catalan county. If we had two... No, if we had three, we'd become the culture head. So I guess that is a good reason to convert people to Castilian. Or Catalan, even. Or Castilian. Um, so yeah, currently he's in charge. So we're getting... Uh, yeah, we just got mustering grounds. Which increases our... Well, we haven't got enough money to deal with that anyway. And then it looks like we're going to get quilted armor soonish. And then the other one is... Oh, we're actually moving up to early medieval as well. That's pretty good. The other one where's the um i guess he hasn't focused on anything yet so 
so I'll leave that be. I think it will get a notification when he does. So we go, we're out of debt, so... We'll, uh, oh, Queen Blanca's uh, friendship. I never expected I would grow close to Queen Blanca as I have done during the last past few years. On multiple occasions, she has proven herself to be a reliable and forthright woman. Only my best interests at heart. I'm not sure I believe that. Joe, sure, let's become friends, because it's unlikely she'll attack us if we become friends. Due to our deep conversations. Oh, you get a friend, 300 prestige. Oh, is that due to the uh, phase that we're in? We gain prestige. From um, from getting friends? Yes, so it must be one of these. Anyway, yeah, that's good then. That <laughs> gives a bunch of prestige. And also, like I said, Leon's our friend, so unlikely to attack us. Um, shame we don't have anyone to marry into them, actually. Then we'd be able to call them in to, uh, to help us, but at least we know they won't attack us, or very unlikely to attack us. In fact, if we become best friends... We do that? Can't. Oh no, you already have a best friend. Oh, you can only have one best friend. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> you can only have one best friend. You can't have two best friends. That's always just a recipe for disaster, so... Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll build up some money, and then we'll, um, we'll attack this guy down here. Actually, actually, yeah, he's building up his forces. Could do with him spending some of this money so that he can't bring in some mercenaries. Which he would be able to do. Hakur is trying to uh, become our friend. Dare challenge your duchess? I'm going to say that just because I want the dread, to be honest. Um, yeah, actually, so let's have a look. How many troops would we have? Oh, we'd have nearly 5,000 troops. I suppose we should wait for this. If it allows us to do both claims at the same time, which I think because we're in the Iberian struggle, it does. Although we, I think we're going to hit compromise before this happens. Maybe. Anyway, we'll have to wait anyway, because we need way more money. We need like 100 gold, just in case the war kind of drags on for a while. Uh, Valencia Dil uh, Melido, our daughter here. Um, what's she focused on? She's focused on learning. So yeah, we'll just have this really high learning character, Marwa, the teacher. Oh, we can create the Kingdom of Navarre if we wanted to. Which we don't, because we want to create the uh, the other kingdom. What have we got this now? 972. Yeah, this will finish first. I just wonder if we can do a war to claim both. Usually you need to have a higher... Uh, higher tier of uh, innovations, but uh, maybe because we're in the struggle it'll allow us to do both. I think it's worth finding out anyway. We could look through the tooltips, but it's going to be quicker for us to just let this finish than uh, discover if it lets us. Oh yeah, and we need to get the, pay the money for it anyway. So yeah, we need to get out of debt, which will happen in two months, and then we can have a look at this. I think this might tick over to yeah, and this might tick over to compromise them before we can do this war. We could do it anyway. But I don't really want to go to war when we have, um, you know, the possibility of more debt. Although I think we were making money even with our army raised before, so... Yeah, let's see. Declare war. Can we take all of this? Oh no, only one of them? Yeah, I thought that was going to be the case. Okay, we could have just done the previous war then, I guess. Yeah, it's a shame we can't do the struggle clash for both, but because we're in compromise uh, or conciliation, we lose the ability to just do multiple struggle clash. You know, all the borders. Uh, well, no, it's called Border Clash, isn't it, I think? And you take all the bordering realms. So I guess we'll take Malagon, and we'll um, give this a go. Round two. We are obsessed with uh, Vengeance, so we'll raise our army up here. Kind of a little bit out the way. We'll call in our house member. She has 1,300. It's free for us to do this. And then I kind of feel like calling in... Maybe this guy? Do we need to? Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Do you know I'm just going to call them all in. It's going to cost us prestige, but we did, get, we did get that 300 prestige for just becoming someone's friend, so... Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's get everyone in. Let's make sure we win this war this time. Yeah. 
I mean, once we've unified these two armies, we should be able to take them on pretty easily. A courtier between friends. My friend Queen Blanca has honored me with a visit and has brought me one of her courtiers along. Blanca approached me excitedly. Well met, Duchess. I'm pleased that you are thriving here in Toledo. It occurred to me that Alvaru might be uh, might be of service to your court. He's an incredibly talented strategist. His mind is spinning is always spinning out possible tactics. I would make him make use of him myself, but it, alas, it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see his great talents go to wait. Won't you take him? Yes, we will. I know the perfect place for him. Yes, we're going to do that. <laughs> we're definitely going to do that. He'll become... Uh, he'll probably be our best commander. Maybe this guy might still be the best. Nope. He becomes our best commander. So, yeah, that was that was awesome. Perfect timing as well. All right, let's get this done. I think we'll, we'll do this now, I think. And then once this war's finished, yeah, in six points... Compromise will end. No, no, no. Oh, no. I thought he was closer. <laughs> oh, he's going to reach us anyway before he finishes. Okay, that was lucky. Hopefully we did capture him immediately in this war ends. No, 50% though. So let's just go straight to Malagon. We probably didn't need to call in these guys, but um, I didn't think it was worth the risk of trying to, uh, trying to make sure uh, we win this war this time. So I think we'll go down Family Hierarch. Although we do get Force Vassalage. Ducal Conquest Castle Spell. Oh, this is how he can get. Oh, and title cost reduction. No, Joel, let's go down Diplomat. Yeah. Let's do that. Family Ira could be okay, but to be honest, we're not that huge a family, and I don't think it's... We're going to get more use out of this other one. Oh, we have a hook on the... Oh, it just finished. I <laughs> literally was going to click on it right then. And it, uh, but it's gone. Oh, well. Yeah, we're easily going to win this war. So, Joel, let's just speed up time so we can get this finished. And there we go, we've moved into the next. We've moved into Compromise. Which, yeah, common war effects, yeah. So the uh, Struggle Caster Spell only still works against one county. Uh, more chance of white peace. We can uh, we get defend advantage, garrison size. Oh, so it basically just reinforces everywhere. So, yeah, we don't have conquest or invasions. Defenders get bonuses, garrisons are bigger. Levy reinforcement rate is 50% better. Friendly territory levy reinforcement rate is another 50% yeah, within friendly territory. So, yeah, this is really about not attacking each other, I suppose. Promote culture is faster. Oh, nice. We can use this to um, push uh, Catalan then. Holy Wars cannot be declared and cannot convert. Oh, well, we can convert counties, but it'll be really slow. And buildings, uh, castles are cheaper. So, yeah, no, we'll leave this then. We'll switch this to promote culture, because if we can uh, convert these way faster... Well, I say way faster, it's taken like a year off the, <laughs> off the time. Which I guess kind of... How long will this take to convert? Ten years. Yeah, I don't really want to spend ten years doing that. I think I'd rather make the Pope like us so we can get some more money. Yeah, we'll just leave that how it is for now. Awesome. Well, do you know what? It's not the, not the worst this has happened. 73%. Sure, let's go up and attack his army again. Strange noise. I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born on this day 45 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I have cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I have not heard from my husband or Heikel or, or, or any of my friends today. I trudge along my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet. When I hear a clang and hushed whispers, from down the hallway. What could it be? Oh, we're going to get a party thrown for aren't we? Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the Queen's here. Look at how the Queen's come. What a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me uh, wish me well as I begin the next year of my life. There was even an entire table laden with candied figs, my favourite. And here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Blanco went through all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had no clue such thoughtfulness surprised as... Uh, I had no clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Obiad approaches me, struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Even the trickster, he says. However the trickster, he says. I have three gifts for you to choose. One shall be yours, but which one shall it be? I'll take the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, why not? Things come in small packages. I'm guessing these give, like, different things. So the, I'm guessing this is always the best. But, you know, let's, let's take it. Oh, we became... Wait, we, came, we got a sword? The Almedo sword? Okay, that's not bad. 
So we do want to replace the Toledo sword. Well, this is only plus six prowess. This gives us plus four, but also more prestige. Fortunately, the Toledo sword is staying because it is better. We would put it on show, though, if we could. If we had a court, I'd put the other one on show. And there we go. We actually bumped up. We are now significant <laughs> as a uh, as a dynasty. And then uh, let's siege this down, and we should uh, get this war finished, sir. Pretty nice. Oh, we can ransom some guy. 30 gold. We'll definitely do that. Uh, letter on the back. Passing through my court, I noticed an unrecognized face approach me. My most implacable liege. I am Hamida, formerly courtier of your vassal Count Baram. He has asked me to present myself to you and partake in your court. He has given me a letter of introduction that only you may read. Then hands me the letter. After breaking the seal, the, the letter simply reads, Dear Agnes, please assassinate the bearer of this letter. <laughs> He's, uh, she's like, oh yeah, he's got a letter. He's, you, you know, he wants me to come to your court. Please kill her. Okay, welcome. Here's some poison refined hapricas. <laughs> Seventy-two percent chance we kill her. Disregard the letter and accept her to your court. So she might be quite good. She's not even that good. She's not even that good. You'll be marked for death. Flee while you can. Ah, what are we? Temperate, ambitious, diligent. I enjoy things in moderation. I guess we wouldn't want to kill her. We can trick him into thinking she's dead. Or, or if we fail, she dies anyway. So, um... Do you know what? Let's kill her. <laughs> Let's kill her. Did it work? Oh no, she didn't. She escaped. Uh, as a duchess, pa vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. How much is devotion without... No, how much is obedience without devotion worth? I've had this many times. We'll do generous liege. Why not? So yeah, she escaped. So, oh well. <laughs> oh well, better look next time. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll see just down. This should win us the war. I, I like the fact that this 36 troops are going to attack us, but uh, ain't going to help. There we go. So nice, we, we, we've taken Malagon for ourselves. So then, uh, obviously, once the truce ends, we'll attack him again and uh, take the last bit of Toledo that we need. Hopefully, we can do that before we die. That would be very good. If we could do that. I mean, we could take the uh, the penalty and do it again. Spend 250 prestige. We lo lose one level of fame. We gain broke truce for three years. Yeah, no, people are going to dislike us too much. Kind of tempting. If we become ill, I might do it. But I think for now it's probably fine to leave it how it is. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Nice. So yeah, we've extended our lands. We just need to take uh, Quilish here. Or Uklish here. And then we can finally... Oh, somebody died. Now this guy down here did. Eh, it didn't really affect his troops. So, well, well, never mind. Um, yeah, so we'll then... Um, yeah, we'll be able to do this decision. Oh, I've got a lot. Champion of the Faith of County Basque. Interesting. The people of the Pyrenees. Oh, is this because we're up here? It must be. We gain the nickname Pagan. We adopt Basque culture. Don't think we want to do this. Close family will convert. That's fine. Every vassal will get a new culture. Oh, this is forming the Ezra Zahara faith. Oh, this is the other... Uh, this is the new faith they added down here. This was actually going to be potentially the campaign I did instead of this one. But... Um, interesting. We could do this, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think we want to, because we want to, um... Although, does it matter? Yeah, no, I think it does. I think you have to be Mazarab. Yeah, you have to be uh, Mazarab to do this, so... Yeah, we won't do that, unfortunately. In a future campaign, though, we might do this. So, yeah, we're going to work towards this. So, yeah, we just need that last bit of Toledo. Yeah, down here. And then we'll be, uh, we'll be able to make that decision. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We got 200 gold as well, so, do you know what? Before I forget... Can we invest any of this gold? We can. We could upgrade this. Uh, no, I think I'd rather upgrade this. Yes, let's do this. Nice, right, gonna make some more money in the future, but we're gonna leave it there for today. As always, if you've enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. Helps other people find the channel and the series in the future. And if you're new here and this is your first episode, I play Crusader Kings. I cover other strategy games on the title, on the title, the channel. So uh, if that's your kind of thing, hit subscribe. But for now, we're gonna leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one.